let's say that um, I'm both a Prince fan, which I was in the 80s, and... Um, no longer. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, only on Thursday night. <laughs> but uh, let's say that I'm also a Syracuse fan, and uh, I decide to make one of those big blow-up posters of orange prints and change the colors a little bit around the edges and put Go Orange underneath. Would you sue me? Um, would, 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 For would, the War, would the Warhol Foundation sue you if you were to do that? Oh, well, you're their lawyer. So. I, I, I can't comment on whether we would sue you, but I think to, to, to try to get at your question, Your Honor, I think the question of whether that would be fair use, I mean, it sounds like you're, by hypothesis, asking me to consider that there's like a different meaning or message associated with the work. I don't think that's the only part of the, the inquiry. I think that everyone recognizes that at factor one, the ultimate goal here is to figure out whether the follow-on uh, user is doing something sort of creative. Oh, I'm just that waving it, and I'm waving it during the game with a big prince face on it. Go orange. Yeah, I I think that in in circumstances like that, where I, it's very unlikely if it was just one of you that, that oh that no would no I, I'm going to market it to all my serious. <laughs> So I think in that case, the a court would, would quite reasonably look at that and say that this is not the kind of, of productive creativity promoting use that is, is So in other words, you would sue me. No, I, I would not. I, I, think that, I think that you would probably have a very weak case uh, against me, Your Honor. So 